Hello all, welcome to Coding Ventures. So today we are going to discuss how we can install the command prompt or what we can say the bash terminal in Visual Studio Code. The bash terminal is very important to use because most of the time in distributed system as well as in servers we use Linux and we are more familiar with the commands of Linux rather than a PowerShell or command line of Windows. So let's get started how to install Git and then we'll we see how to integrate it with your Visual Studio code. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Git. Okay, here you will be redirected to uh, the website of Git that is git.scm.com and it is the best way or we can say about git is that distributed system are the new centralized systems okay so let's click on the download for windows here the various download links for windows you can see here it's for 32 bit operating system of windows setup and 64 bit git for windows setup so my system is 64 bit so i'm going to click on the 64 bit system it will start downloading it will take some minutes it's near about 50 mb uh, depending on your internet connection so it's get downloaded so i just right click and uh, open it it will prompt you that it will its installation will start so i will click on the run to start the installation meanwhile with windows m i will minimize all other screens it will prompt you do you want to install this software yes okay so installation wizard for git is here started and git is a uh, publicly licensed it's an open source software so here you can see its general public license gnu so you can read terms and condition of gnu and once it is done click on the next so it will ask you for the location where it stores the primary files or the binaries for the git so unless and until you don't have a better reason to change it don't change it click on the next it will ask this folder is already exist would you like to install in that folder okay the git is already installed in my system uh, that's why it show this message it won't uh, appear for you so i will click yes and it will ask me for some additional settings so i need additional icons for desktop and uh, i also need Take the daily updates for Git's or Windows updates. So I also go with that. It's totally depend on you what functionalities you want. Click on the next. It will create a Git folder. Click on the next. So uh, we need to install the setup by defa default setup provided by Git. So we are not going to change it. But here we have various customizable option. You can read the documentation and do accordingly. Click on the next so let git decide and yeah it will prompt you but let git decide this also click on the next uh yeah it it will ask various things but uh, i will go with git from the command line and other third party software also because we want to integrate it with visual studio code and other ids we are going to use in future so i will go with this option click on the next okay use bundled open ssh yeah we need that click on the next use open ssl uh, library click on the next okay click on the next you can just go with uh, clicking the next things okay enable symbolic links uh, we didn't need that okay and after all the uh, process it will start installing you can see here okay so git is installed and it will ask you for uh, the various setups so uh, i need i need to launch the git bash for the first instance so click on the finish okay uh, it will uh, redirect me to the uh, uh, release note of the git for the specific versions so you can check uh, all the things right now it's not necessary so click yeah here you can see the git is installed in our system successfully look uh, so I, I am just going to change the font by 
control and scrolling up the mouse wheel okay we can do some things like linux command for listing all the files and directories in the current file is ls so we can see what's our current directory is present working directory you can see we are in c users and hp okay great so we are good with installation of the git okay so uh, next part of the whole thing is that we are going to start how to integrate git with our visual studio code id so open your visual studio code id visual studio code is started and uh, here powershell is also started as a default command line but we need to install or integrate the git bash with our visual studio code so for that click on the control shift and p for a uh, command palette or opening the command palette in visual studio code so here uh, if it is not listed here select default terminal you can search here select default terminal you will get this link click on that and now you can see here uh, git bash is also mentioned here so command prompt powershell yeah i need git bash so click on the git bash it will uh, takes few moments and uh, so right now git bash is added as a default in our uh, visual studio code terminal so you can see here git bash is installed and once i click on that i can change my terminal from here powershell git bash and, and i can open multiple terminals in visual studio code but you can see now git bash is installed in visual studio code so you can run all the command here like ls you can see the index.html which is already created here or you can again uh, like do some few commands like pwd for checking the directory you can see the directory here or also we can create some new files like uh, touch hello.py for creating the python file and uh, you can see hello.py is created here okay so i what i will do i will write a quick code of python that is most famous code print hello world we all start with this code in every programming languages so i will save this and after that uh, i will click on the run and uh, yeah this code will be run so you can see in terminal hello world is run in our default git terminal so okay this is all for how to integrate git terminal with your visual studio code id thanks for watching my video uh, do subscribe my channel and like this video if you like uh, my content and we will uh, be back with uh, the next video we are planning to start a series on python so we will work from tomorrow on python and uh, it, it will be the zero to mastery course for python till then Happy coding. Bye-bye.